Dude, that is so f- <laughs> Found the gun coming down the stairs and Henry, Henry was on the couch. Just coming down the stairs like I'm hunting. <laughs> then, Whoa! Then, oh, okay. Is it like Pepsi Max? Your lips are on my- Your lips are on my- <laughs> nah, that's hectic shit. When you're standing over someone, especially a smaller female, it can be interpreted as like intimidation. So just be aware of that next time. Girls have feelings too. Welcome to episode number 39 of the Marty and Mark Love of the Actual Podcast. Look at man, that is sickening. It he's, looks like he's just woken you. up. He's just woken up, rolled out of bed, and hang put, on. <laughs> and here he is. <laughs> Catch this, Matt. Is that weed? Stinging nettle. Oh, ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get me. I pranked you. <laughs> I, ha- um, I was rushed this morning, so I had to think fast. And yeah, this look, guys, is what came out. It's going to be a bit of a slightly different episode. We uh, It's the week, well, four days before the live show, and we have a shitload to do. And Mark and I have a meeting this afternoon, so we have to kind of just pump it out, all right? And um, we still have so much to do. So it's going to be a bit of a different episode, a bit more like shit talky kind of shit. Um and um yes we're just so under the pump right now and this Matt, is the last one we're filming uh, yeah. oh well besides the Christmas episode yeah it's, um the last one we're gonna do this year that's so hectic as shit you guys might be hearing the construction outside as well so th- this will be the last time you have to deal with that oh yeah, yeah we'll be gone hell yeah baby this is our last podcast in, in this studio. room yeah. yeah we'll be moving locations oh man I'm so keen for that it's getting wild eh yeah. We wouldn't anyway. We won't talk about that. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Well, look. Oh yeah, true. Well, we sort of have on the premium member yeah. section. They oh. sort of are up to date with what's going on with our big move. That Michael, will happen. And I, Michael and I went to the new headquarters, uh, the new Marty Michael headquarters over the weekend, just to check like progress. We've had this place for a year now. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that weird? We've had it for a whole year already. Oh, wow. How many times you've been there? Ten. Ten times. Yeah. We just sort of, man, it's a fucking good spot. You're going to be so I've happy. I've never been there. It's yeah, so you know, nice. Because yeah, every, you <clears throat> every time you go, I'm obviously at work or because uh, we had people renting there as well for a long time. So <laughs> 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 Matt's f- is confirmed. Matt Brown is fighting. He's fighting and yeah. he's first fight out of the gate. Which is good <laughs> and shit. It's a little bit shit because everyone will be like still getting settled and stuff. But it's good because you get it out of the way early and then you can just enjoy. Yeah, it's, so it is it is confirmed. I have an opponent. Yeah, and We can say who it is. Yep. So he's fighting uh, Zach. Uh, he, he does like the producing for uh, Proper True Yarn podcast. And Knuckles was the guy that me, one of the guys me and Michael um, fought at. So it's kind of like part two of our fight our podcast versus their podcast and you've got the whole fucking weight of our fans on your shoulders you have to win you'll be representing everything that we've built (laughs) i don't know anything about zach he he could ko me in the first 10 Uh, we've met zach and he's he seemed like a super nice friendly guy okay so so don't nice guy aren't i you have your moments (laughs) extreme violence Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so it should be fun. <laughs> I saw Brown training this morning at the gym and he was going hard out. So <gasps> Really, Brown? Oh, he's starting awesome. to get some punch to those hits. Like They're, they're looking like you got some power there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna have to start sparring soon. That'll be fucking yeah, great yeah. to watch. Oh, you man. have never known fatigue until you fucking spark. You will not. You have no idea. Oh. You're gonna get so fit. Oh, it's good. <laughs> it's yeah, a good it's, thing. <laughs> yeah, we've we've today. We've I've cut this shit now. It's back to because we did that yeah, hundred day challenge and then just fucking. I just went again. I just it's just all or nothing. It's either hundred percent health or hundred percent <laughs> destruction. Just been eating out every meal and just fucking not exercising. Any cold rock sessions? <laughs> oh man, I've been uh, like I'm fully addicted to sugar again, eh? Yeah. For Bas- anyone who doesn't understand, cold rock is kind of like Baskin Robbins. Uh, you yeah, know, and you can mix shit in. Yeah, it's, it's very like an ice cream four pile. weeks off sugar now. Yeah, so that's really? what, that's, that's yeah. Saturday. So hopefully we'll start to um, a bit more energy again. But we got the live show this weekend, so that'll be a f- that'll be a big blowout. Oh, yeah, and Mon's Fuck. birthday this tomorrow, and then Jackson. Uh, and then Jackson's coming up, so it's just like it's eh. a busy month. 
Yeah, I do. This month months. is this month and next month is just so fucking hectic. It gives me such crippling anxiety. I, I plus moving, man. Moving's going to suck. Yeah. Well, I think I'll be away for the first couple of days of moving. Is that right? I don't know. Maybe we'll time it so you don't miss a thing. Yeah, I think. Uh, I. Sorry. <laughs> We're going to have a um, garage sale here at this house. So we're going to leak the address and um, we're going to have a big old garage sale before we leave as well and just get just get rid of some of the um, shit that we're not taking <laughs> out of your place. It's going to be junk. I don't know what, you, what are you going to sell. Hey, it's memorabilia. Okay. Yeah, and like, we, we, you know, we'll give a bunch of shit away. We don't like want money for it, a lot of it. Just Oh, yeah, well then, yeah. That's you know, easy. it's just, just to get rid of some of the junk. So Should it's a trip to the fucking Should we sell um, a million dollar plaque? Yeah, million, no, that's a memory for a million dollars, one dollar per. You guys took so long to get that. Yeah, it did take a while. Eh? <laughs> and he's gonna sell it for a couple of dollars. Yeah, maybe ten bucks. <laughs> 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 what happened on the weekend? Greg's birthday. Oh, your Greg, Greg. my Greg Brown. Yeah. yeah, what happened? What's wrong with that? It's his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Your father's birthday you is been, important. You would have been happy with it. Yeah, it is. He's a very important man. Driving range? Yeah, we went to Victoria oh Park. Did breath. you actually hit a ball? I did. I hit three good ones out of the 20 that I hit. Was he impressed with those? Uh, no, was he you trying can to, tell he's, he trying to he's, you? he's like you. He's like he's very like he's fucking disappointed. <laughs> yeah, look, <laughs> but did we doing did, spins and shit. He did say when I because I hit two in a row that were white really well because I finally got some like he was saying he kept fucking barking orders at me. He was very <laughs> you know, just going at me. And anyway, he he um yeah, I got I finally got it together for two shots and he was like, Oh yeah, it's better. Yeah, okay. But it was yeah. two. Imagine then, having a son and then like Oh man, I'd, I'm going to be so upset if my kid can't play golf. <laughs> Can we, Michael's? Yeah, like, I guess let's announce it, eh? I'm going to be a father. <laughs> Michael's fucking going to be a daddy. <laughs> Amber is pregnant. Everyone, are, are you allowed to say it yet? I don't know. Oh, fuck it. Is there a certain, isn't there a waiting period you have to wait? Yeah, yeah sure look, we don't it's know. Confirmed? Yeah, look, it is confirmed, but. Who knows, you know? Let's okay. just So we're in like the pre-confirmation. No, nah, we're just lying to Matt. <laughs> 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 but one day when I am a dad, my son better be good at golf. Even daughter better be good I at put golf. in hex that he cannot play golf well. Nah, he, he'll have fucking good motor skills, that's for sure. It's very important to have good motor skills. Oh, man, imagine if it comes out. I'm like not having a brown. Shit, if I have a brown, it's it's abortion, late abortion. <laughs> imagine if it came out, it looked exactly like Matt. You'd be like, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, Look, I was coming up, but brown, but brown, brown, brown. He's a little just kid. got all these fuck joints and just <laughs> comes out with fucking gout. <laughs> Poor gout. Do you know there's an Australian Olympian called Gout Gout? gout? Oh. His name is Gout Gout. That's not good. Yeah, Why would someone do that to someone? And he's uh, apparently he's a gun at his sport. I don't know what it is, but apparently he's really good. Yeah. Anyway. Sorry about sorry that. About so that. sorry about that. Um, I went to the post office uh, today. And I've started to think that... Thank God that wasn't the end of your story. Yeah, I know. I'm starting to think that the Australian Post is... Rigged. It's fucked up. You go in there and there's just weird shit for sale. It's like it's a place where people are laundering money or something. Well, it's because it's run by fucking 70-year-olds. You go in there, everyone no. in there is like 70 years old. Well, I don't know. My taken one's not that bad. Like <laughs> it's, you know what I mean? It's it just is weird. Like, all right, so they had a bluey stamp books and then next to that they had um, indestructible wallets. I was just, just it's like a dollars and cents store. They're like trying to grab you as you buy or post your letter. Yeah, just it's just very you strange. Weird. You bought both. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they, got, they got me. But uh, one other thing I noticed, they, they had a big sign there and it said um, no more than 30 pieces of coins to pay. Like they wouldn't take more than 30 pieces of coins. Yeah, You well, should bring in 29. Yeah, I felt that. I found that a bit strange, a bit. Something's going on. There's a conspiracy, man. Hmm. A post office conspiracy. And they we picked up a package. So oh, James yeah. Izzard deli uh, delivered us all these like boxes and boxes. Oh, yeah, you guys off. remember when we got like four boxes full of treats? Well, there was one missing and it's yes. just arrived. He messaged us and said, oh, I think one didn't make it. And it turns out it arrived today and it was all fucked up. Like it's been destroyed and they've put a message in here going... Apologies, we're sorry for the enclosed item has reached it in, in this condition. So, uh, and I said to the girl, did it not come here straight away? And she said, no, it went to Sydney. 
Well, look, so, and did. it's all fucked up. So they've it's pol- all they've apologized destruction because it's uh, the box is real damage. It's like just because it goes to Sydney, how does it get so fucked? Oh. They're playing soccer with it or something. I did have some killer pythons a couple of weeks ago, so and it is full, bullshit. boys. I can feel I can't, it. I There's can't. something Jane, going on. I don't know on. if I, I can. I don't know but if I can today. We, we will but save this for Christmas time because, man, I am going to. Yeah, be yeah, that's a good idea. The Christmas episode. Let's just eat and chew into the microphones mm. and get high. Mm. Man, if this year has gone so quickly, it's it's like already like mid October, end of October now. Man. And then we got November, December, and then the year is gone. And what a year it has been. Yeah. We had a, we had a fight. Yeah, wow. What else happened? We did a road That's trip. That's it. Yeah, we went, went on a little Byron. journey. We've gone to Sydney. We've gone to Perth. We went to an island for boys trip. Yeah, that was we fun. We organised the next boys trip too. Yeah, We've done good. a fair bit, but it feels like it was just... Yeah, look, you um, wait. One day we're going to wake up we'll be 70. Hopefully, man, that illnesses. would be really good if we'd, I'd make it to seven. If someone said, guarantee you go make it, I'd be pretty happy with that. Yeah, well, look, that's over half, you're over halfway. Yeah, exactly. And Matt's, yeah. You're probably like 65, 66. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I get scared thinking about yeah, death. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> when do you think it will come, Matt? No, what Marty, do you think happens Marty after? keeps saying I'm done to die first, which have, doesn't make me feel good. <laughs> have you thought about what happens after? Yeah. Do you reckon there'll be a judgment on the brown? No. You don't I think th- there's I any judgment? Know. I reckon your conscious your consciousness just transfers to another being. Oh, so you think it you don't reckon the there's a spirit world for a little while where you get a little bit of judgment, a little bit of self reflection? Uh, fuck, it'd be nice. <laughs> um, it'd be nice because I get to see like people who you know obviously who have you know died before me and and stuff like that. That'd be nice, but I just don't. I don't know. I don't feel like it's there. If you die before your dad, will you wait for your dad to die and then hang out with him or will you go into another soul and leave your dad? What? what? So you <laughs> say there's a little temporary period where you can be a soul. Will you wait for your dad to die so you can see him or will you just go fuck What if it? I die before him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. What if he's you off next week would you wait for him then i'll be a bit upset about that <laughs> imagine getting molested when you're 40 oh. Oh. Is, do you reckon it happens yeah i wonder eh? if it's, just, it's like you've had Surely. a really good relationship with your parents and then all of us one day your dad's just like fuck it i'm gonna have a go here <laughs> and corners you you get real drunk together and you wake up and he's half you off no oh, dad would never oh, 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 oh. i don't oh. think there's any amount of money or drugs or alcohol could get him to do like it. i wonder if you could get traumatized at our age like you know how it fucks people up if yeah, if, you, if it happened now if you would have better coping skills yeah well you'd think you'd have better cope your brains develop or you could be more emotional than you've ever been before and then that just fucks you up should we do it i reckon we should try it yeah. we'll call up our dads and see if they'll fondle with us <laughs> Just at the driving range. <laughs> oh, anyway, so back to you, you've brought this story full circle. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we went out for dad's birthday. Um, we had breakfast at Victoria Park and then we went to the driving range. We hit some bulls and I bought him some golf gear, got him a new glove and um, got him a new hat. Did you hug him when you greeted him? No. How much do you spend on your dad for his birthday? Well, he doesn't really want much, but so I just went and got what he wanted. And it was just like, yeah, I don't know, $120. Whoa. Fuck, Triple man. digits. That's pretty good. Now, would you, when's the last time your dad would have seen you naked? Oh, fuck, I was pretty young. If you were both getting changed in a room now, would that be weird? Or would you get fully naked in front of your dad? No worries. Oh, I just saw a wholesome truck go past. So that was very distracting. <laughs> oh, <yuck>. um, sorry, <laughs> I really did. I promise everyone. <laughs> I just saw a wholesome truck. Yeah, we believe you. Um, sorry, uh, <laughs> I'm not trying to change the subject. <laughs> When's the last time you saw him naked? I don't know. Or his a long time ago. Yeah, but like, if you're both getting changed in a change room now, would you like be comfortable being completely naked in front of your dad or would you like turn away? I wouldn't make it an obvious, hey, daddy. <laughs> like, I wouldn't do but that. But if you're naked yeah. and he goes, oh, Matt, would you turn around with your balls out and look at him? I wouldn't do it so obviously, no. You'd look over your shoulder and and remain respectful. Yeah, I'd, I'd, poke I'd, your I'd bum put, out. have the towel around a bit. <laughs> yeah. What about you, you guys? Oh, man, I reckon it would have been probably like 12-ish maybe. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Oh, wow. That's, oh, yeah, I'm going even further. Was I'm he like having a bath with you? Eight, yeah, no, I maybe I walked into him showering or something and yeah. then vice versa. 
Nine, ten, or somewhere in there for me. I That's cool. That's cool. Party? Uh, uh, man, yeah, maybe eight or nine. What did he say when you Same thing, in? just shower. Yeah. I was just staring at his dick and pointing at it. Did he say something in German to you? No. Gehaktes. Gehaktes Fleisch. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> mm. Blitzkrieg. Oh. <clears throat> anyway, guys, shall we um move into the... We don't have any sponsors of this episode. <laughs> So, Man, I stink, except dude. for ourselves, um, we have a website. You guys might not know about this, right? It's a subscription website. We post weekly fucking banger episodes on there. Okay, there and there's over three hundred and fifty episodes on there. We've posted every week for like four years now. Isn't that crazy? The latest five one is years, like fifty five minutes years. long. Is the website four years now? Five years old. And to the end of this year. It's almost as long as a podcast. Yeah. The latest one is almost an hour. And it's got Brown in. He's fucking like full on the CEO. We've, we we test oh. if gender equality pay is should happen or not. Oh. Marty transforms into Mindy, which is one of the sickest bitches you will ever meet. It's Have you hard watched to it? Be around. Oh, yeah. Is it good? Yeah, it's very... You're, um, you're a star, Brown. The um, okay. What's come out just now is the worst worst. So... What Michael and I do is out of all of the worst things we've hit each other with, fucking whatever, we pick the worst, like eight worsts, and then we hit, we do that to ourselves and we pick the two worst worsts. And then we've done two parts to that. Oh, okay. Man. It's, it's, it was brutal, man. Like, fuck. It was, yeah. Even last week's, the part two was such a f day. Covered in bruises and oh, shit. So sore. Yeah, so um, there's some good shit coming out on there. There's a 21 day free trial, so sign up. You can have a watch some of the vids if you like it. Stay on. If not, then you can leave. We also do our our premium member videos where we just basically speak about the intricacies of the behind the scenes of Marty and Michael once a week for like f f seven to ten minutes, and that's on the website, man. It's wild. Is that member like video? Little diary yeah, that's entries. for premium members. You were in it. We got chill in the last one. Remember? Oh, we tried oh, to get sexual with you. Marty gets naked. Oh, oh is that yeah. that? Mm. Okay, sorry, everyone. Yeah, yeah, we in Brown's. We like to do them in Brown's bed. So if you'd like to support the podcast for us in general, sign up. That's what we do. Also, please, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and give us a five-star review on Spotify, man. Our five-star reviews on Spotify, it's truly like, like I'm shocked. We have a lot. Like you look at a lot of other big podcasts and we like have more than... Like, didn't you say we have more than the Ru Ru even Russell Brands? Dude, Russell, I think we're 500 five star reviews away from Russell Brands. Oh, right. Okay. So he does have more. But that's still fucking huge. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. So k keep that going. We love our little Spotify community. Like, we love our podcast community. We love our. We love our fathers. Actually, has great. <laughs> It's grown, hasn't it? The little community the, from, the, from the website, doing the web member. Yeah, look, that's also awesome. you get access to the Facebook page group where we yeah. people yeah, man, you can talk to us there. So good, we get a lot to of interact um, with you guys. A lot of jokes and a lot of a lot of funny stuff comes out on the, um, man, on the yeah, a lot of lookalikes. Yeah. yeah, wow, so but many of my horrific ones of me. It's almost worse just going on for that. Yeah, it is rough, <laughs> but thank you for everyone who engages in that. It's so good to connect with you guys. Yeah, you guys are our little bosses. We like to say because mm. they they pay the bills, man. We'd this podcast fucking... doesn't, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but the the live show is going to be bloody great. Oh, man. Yeah, that's... It's so nerve-wracking, eh? I'm yeah, worried about, from James's reaction, what the bamboozled is going to be pretty fucking horrific. I'm not then. even thinking about it yet. I'm just I'm just going to blank my mind and, and yeah. So there's there's some crazy shit that's going to happen. Michael has a, has a never-before-done... Stunt. I gotta practice that, eh? One of a kind. There's gonna be, Ooh. you know, this. Oh man, it's 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 wild. It's gonna be a wild night, and we're vlogging the whole thing, which will be out on the website too. <laughs> and the uncensored, because there's gonna be, we won't be able to post most of it on here. So it's gonna be the uncensored will be on the website. Because oh yeah, that's the other thing too. Um, we're gonna have a pay per view available. So if you want to watch the whole thing as if you were there. Like it's already filmed now, but we'll have the link for the pay per view if you want to have a watch. As if you're in in the audience, you can kind of see exactly what everyone saw because we obviously can't post the whole uncensored thing to YouTube or Spotify because we would get cancelled. Yeah. And look, it is what it is. But let's get into my special needs. Oh shit! Yeah, I thought we were gonna get away with it. Two, three, no. 
Does not count. <laughs> <laughs> You're dude, like three. Dude, look at that fucking like three angle years of old. It. God, man. He was number nine at worms. His body's full of germs. He was school captain. <laughs> My God, is he happening? He can only see, see? while his friends are not pleased. With his special, his special needs. This is Michael's special needs. All right, fade it out. That's enough. Some people really like it. Yeah, I know, but there's some people that don't. So like, let's just go half, half each week. Compromise. So there we go. That's that. Now look, Michael's I. Oh, yeah. Michael's <laughs> special needs. Faded out. Anyway. Oh, man. I just want to listen to that forever. But now, I since it's a Rush podcast today, I didn't really think. I'm thinking on the spot here, okay? No, no. That's arguably worse. I've got a couple of things that I'd like you to try. <laughs> Wait. One or a couple? A couple, but they're very easy. They're very simple things that you <laughs> should be able to do. One is going to test your rhythm and motor skills. Yeah. The other is going to test your ability <laughs> to copy. And the last one I haven't really thought of yet, so we'll see. The first one is easy. This is a rhythmic, a rhythm, a rhythmic pattern where you guys will be using your hands in a clap motion. It's a beat, sort of like you know the beat that yeah, yeah, that one. So this is that, and you're going to be using your hands to do it. I want to see if you guys have motor skills and rhythm. Here we go. Sorry about this, everyone. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why that? I have to see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't try. Try now. All right, here we go. <clears throat> very, it's actually very cool what you did, but I can't do that. Oh, shit, man. That is... That was so... No, I thought you would have. Okay, <laughs> can I get another? Clapping. Can I show you? Can you show me how you do that? No, you? no, you try and then I'll, mm. I'll do a, a final performance. Oh, I mean, that's the point. Yeah. Dude, that is so. F <laughs> that is fucking gross. I'm so bad at that. I can do the first couple. I can't click like you are. Though. Yeah, it's the clicking that's hard. Could you do you double click with your fingers? Is that what you're doing there? Yeah, he's doing. Yeah. Anyway, I'm fucking good. And now I think you're autistic. <laughs> this is just Michael showing off. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's my special needs request. Kind of now, anyway, <laughs> anyway, this is. Something that is only really I can do, <laughs> and I want to see if you guys can do this too. Okay, Fuck this is the off. famous default face. Okay, you need no to one can do default face like you. That is fucking well, unfair. You, that you try and make us gonna try yeah, yeah, your best I to see do you it. Try that too. So default face is where you go vacant. It, it helps a lot when you're munted or when you're a blit, like really fucked up drunk. But look, I can go sober default face and it's so fine. So this is, we call it default face because it's actually what Michael's face looks like. He's, so you look at Michael's face, he's actually pulling a face constantly. 24-7 he's pulling normal. a face. When it, This face happens when he's fully relaxed, when he's asleep. When he's erect. When he's completely, face goes limp. This is what his face is. Limp biscuit. So that's Michael's real face. <laughs> All right, everyone. So that's what we have to try and replicate. <clears throat> All right, ready? Three, two, one. That's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good, man. Eyes are jittering a bit, but that's very good. I can't hold it. I <laughs> <laughs> can't even More. go. You don't know how to go cross-eyed. You just look down. Lift yeah, your I lips. Can't. Lift I can't your lips up. Like this. Lift your lips up. <laughs> like that. 
Yeah, yeah. Th- flare your nostrils. That was actually really good. Oh, 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 guys, we're gonna have a fat, fat bong break and we'll be right back with something. I hate you. All right, guys, look, we're going to um, do something that we haven't done for a while. Um, we're going to um, get down with the brown, get down with the brown, get Before down. we start, um, I was just saying to Michael, I were, uh, on Friday when I was at work, I started singing Arabian Nights to my co-workers. Um, not the best reaction, let's just put it out there, but I had a good time. Hmm. And um, and I was like, I'm f***ing the words up, I need to get this down. Like, And so I Googled the lyrics and um and I was just reading the lyrics and singing and then I was just like, hey, this these lyrics don't I don't remember them being some of these words. And then I realized they've changed the lyrics of Arabian Nights from when they released the new Aladdin from the old Robin Williams one. And so that's why I had words jumbled up. Why would they change the words? They took out barbaric. What the fuck do you do at your work, man? Sorry. It's because it's offensive. Googling Arabian Nights. How is barbaric offensive, though? I don't get that. Man, every word is now offensive. That, you know the part where he's like, well, the heat is intense, it's barbaric, but hey, it's home. They took out barbaric and changed it to something nice. Yeah, yeah well, look, anything can offend anyone, and we need to make sure Everyone that has we to be supply careful. Anyway. care. For the people who can be just, offended by just something. another chip away at my childhood. Anyway, mm. it's important. That was dude, nobody likes getting down with a brown. Yeah, I do. We do, Matt. It's about us. <laughs> yeah, I thought minutes ago we just said it's it's, uh, it's our little bosses. This is great. All right, look, this is a segment where we just are, we really get to know the brown. All right, we really just want to get to the core of it because he's a very strange, unique person. This is a jingle, by the way. Okay, That's so, the getting down with brown shingle. So this is like everyone's like curious because how can a person be like that? How can a per- like surely someone like that doesn't actually exist? And now like we're gonna, me. Now we're going to get to the core of its brain and see what lies there. Goo. <laughs> brown. Soft brain goo. Uh, I've realised the world has a weird perception of me after all the comments on the fight. By the way, everyone who commented on the fight release, thank you very much. It's very beautiful. <laughs> but there was some fucking funny shit. <laughs> <laughs> We like, should change our logo too. That old, that old, fully actual logo with the the unicorn with a rainbow mane. Well, we've That's got so the outdated. new. Lo- we've got the new logo. I think now. we've got the new logo. It's just not yeah. on our Spotify yet. They oh, didn't. Okay. We didn't. They didn't ask for one, and they didn't. Is it off the Spotify? Is that they got that? Must have. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. First question. Yes. If you were to make up three new silly traditions for your family, what would they be? Um. I would have us all chant brown, brown at every Christmas and like like all like you know they do a national anthem for every sporting event. Every brown family event would do a, a brown chant. Like a meditation. Yeah, almost no, all sort of a meditation, but also sort of like a brown anthem. Okay, that's one. What would you, what would you add? I uh, if I if I would like to have um one where we give cash to the sun oh yeah like burn it <laughs> yeah i'd like that one too <laughs> like no no as in the sun being me like a, yeah. a male and then i'd be like what, if, yeah, what about when you have a son then he'd get the cash yeah true we just Look, take it from him well i'd like it no we play golf we just every time we meet up we play golf but don't you do that already yeah not really does your dad play golf yeah does he like it as much as you? No. He's more he's more shoot like shoot him and arrest him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. What about you, family? Um, well, I don't really have much family. <laughs> but um <laughs> they all died. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, apart from Mon's family now, obviously, but other than that, yeah, nothing. But I guess You've got almost the same as me. I guess you'd just go to like a cemetery in Germany. Well, yeah, maybe like dig a hole or something. Could be fun. Just dig it. for an hour. Just dig down and um, playing German songs, Ach du Lieber, and so on. Mm, okay. All right. Next one is, what was something you believed as a child that makes you laugh now? 
Probably Santa. <laughs> Man, I was so pissed when Santa wasn't real. I would. How did you guys find out? I think I was like fuck year, next door and that beep. Sorry, year three, and I think it was like I was like, is he not real, mum? And she's like, oh yeah, obviously not. And I was yeah. Like, oh okay. I found out very what, early. What on. made you suspicious? I think because the younger cousins and stuff, it was going around that it, he wasn't, and then like. I went and consulted my older cousin. He's like, no, he's real because he has to play the act up. And then I went to mom with suspicions and she's like, look, yeah, he's not real. And yeah, like like, like all things in life, it's usually proof and facts and things that usually, you know, what's the common sense? And so because we didn't have a chimney, he wasn't coming down that. And I was like, wait, so where, how does he get in? And like, and my grandma lived with me at the time. And I was like, and she was in the room. Did she she tell me she tell me she didn't wake up when he walked in. Yeah. Like I was very like confused by it. But I was very like because we'd have sacks. Like oh, what do you call? Me. What like do you call them? Scrotums. No, like um <laughs> the Santa sack things. What do you yeah, call, yeah. What do you call I don't think it's Marty a, wouldn't have got yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know what that he, is. He would have been in a shelter of getting bombed. But like it um yeah, we had Christmas sacks and they yeah. put extra toys in there for you for the kids. And so that would be flat on the floor. And uh, and then you come down in the morning and be full, and it would just blow my mind. I was like, "Wow, I left it there, and it was nothing in it. And now there's stuff in it." My How living what? room was just littered with presents. You couldn't even walk in the yeah. living room. And then I'd go to my sack, and there was presents in the sack, and then around the sack. Yeah, I had many, many presents, <laughs> too many. And then know. my family would come give me more. I, I had lots. Was the best part for you is like, all right, we'll go. Dad would be like, all right, we'll go through the sacks first, and we would pull it out one at a time. And it, it took, was fucking it took, exciting. It took days for me Ever. to get through my. And dish. then you're like, holy shit, I'm exhausted from un- unpacking my sack. <laughs> and then, um, and then you're like, oh shit, we get the wrap presents too. How like, did you find out? I, I just, I just kept it like going. Well, what did he come through the garage door? Yeah, but who locked. told you? Mum, I think. I'm pretty sure it was mum. Fifteen. No, younger. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> I wonder what the, like what the oldest person is to to like. Imagine just trying to keep that secret till your kid's like eighteen. Yeah, that would be pretty good. <laughs> they'd be like Will Ferrell. They'd have to be homeschooled. Elf. Like homeschooled. You can't have your kid go to school. No, like you, you start early. But look, there are people going to tell you this guy's not real. But yeah. that's just because they've been naughty. Anyone who says he's not real is naughty. He is a hundred percent real. And go to extreme lengths to trick them for their like till they're like twenty years your old. Your kid like, would be a loser. It's like a religion your almost. Kid, like no, every they'd time learn, they'd learn sometimes. not to bring it up. They'd learn not to bring it up. They'd yeah, just, but then like as soon as someone goes you know santa's not real in class to be like you're naughty no they just keep and you just teach them don't say anything don't even challenge anyone just know that they're naughty and you don't want to you don't want to like point that out because then they'll be upset so you just keep it to yourself and know deep down fuck that person's been so naughty that santa didn't even visit them it's also i think because the easter bunny was revealed to be fake very early on that's when you're like, oh, if that one's fake, maybe. The and the Santa tooth fairy fake. too. The tooth, tooth fairy. fairy was fake very early on in my life. My like, parents went all out. Like I remember that my dad fucking dug go. up the lawn one year to make it look like the reindeer had like taken like landing on the lawn. That's and fucked. There was yeah, and then they'd always. Did you have the, the footprints? footprints? Yeah, yeah. Or, uh, yeah. Like I was convinced Snow he footprints. was real. Yeah, my dad went to extreme lengths so till he would. I'd wake up in the middle of the night to hear his gun shooting. I'd be like, holy fuck. And then the next morning, I'd be like, what the fuck was that? And then Dad would be like, oh, Santa came. And I was like, I thought he was an intruder. So it was just big, huge holes in the Trust, wall and like, shit. Your dad was like, he's just set out. He wants to kill Santa. Well, he just was like scared, thinking, fuck, there's an intruder in the house. And pulled his gun out and just huge bullet holes all when through you, the house. So when you guys- Everyone's screaming and crying. It was Intense. So you guys are so used to having intruders in Germany, you'd shoot at them. So when you moved to Australia, Santa was a bit of a shock. Yeah, we just assumed that someone breaks in your house, that they're there <laughs> yeah. to cause harm. Marty was the kid that would go over to a mate's house and that mate has, their parents have a gun and he would bring the gun down and point it at his mate's load. Yeah, I remember once I found the gun coming down the stairs and Henry, Henry was on the couch just coming down the stairs like, I'm hunting. <laughs> and then, Whoa! And then turn the gun face to Henry. <laughs> Hang on. Henry, <laughs> <laughs> that is f***ed up wait so yeah. just so everyone understands so you would a friend of yours you would stay at their house and their dad had a gun mm. and you would go up and when they weren't there you'd go upstairs and grab it and point it at everyone yeah I'd, I'd sneak that is in. F- 
fucked up. Sneak in and just ho- like think, you know, surely that's, they're not going to leave it loaded lying there. Surely there wouldn't <laughs> be any bullets. So I just. Tra- Did you check? Well, I don't know how to check. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know how to open it. Did you pull the trigger? No, no, no I didn't pull the trigger. Oh, oh my man. God. You should have, dude. Oh, oh <laughs> man. <laughs> you Kill took Henry. You. you lo- <laughs> <laughs> That's how every accident happens. Oh, fuck, so, I wonder if Henry remembers that. You took it. <laughs> you took it a bit further. So my uncle had a gun when I was young, and I remember going and visit him, and he lived on a bit of property. And I was, they were going somewhere, and I said, "I'll just wait at the house." And and like his words were, do <laughs> "Me off." Yeah, it was like, "Do not go looking for my gun," because I've because he knew I knew about it. I went, "No, no, no, I won't at all." And the first thing I did was walk straight into his bedroom and go right and pull it out and have a look at it. And I was like, all right, I'm doing the wrong thing. I didn't. You took that the step further, pulling it out and aiming it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we were were drunk sometimes. So we were like 14. (laughs) And then, yeah. Oh, man. So funny. Because I could just picture it from Henry's point of view. He would have slowly seen my feet coming down the stairs like like I'm stalking. So like, and then and then it kind of rev- as soon as the gun is revealed, I just swing and point it at him at the stairs, and just <laughs> as I keep slowly walking down the stairs. Oh man! Oh man! You're a sick kid. I wish I saw. Okay, look, next one, last one. What are some things that your parents did that you would never do, Brown? Divorce, Matt. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Uh, uh. What things that they did that I would never do? So maybe some parent techniques and maybe some reactions, maybe when your dad would get really like fucking erratic and abusive. No, I think my parents were very good at parenting. They 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 hit me a good number of times at a good level, kept me disciplined well. You know, they yelled at me at the right times, they and they were nice and they gave me good advice. Yeah, no, I don't know. My parents were very good. Okay. Well, um, so you wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't change a thing about my parents. They're lovely but uh what something they did that i didn't that i haven't done and i wouldn't do i don't know that's a tough question marty no. divorce you wouldn't. <laughs> i don't want to but yeah I, i'd try not to divorce yeah divorcing is a bit shit isn't it yeah they they got divorced that's the thing that i obviously i don't know if I, that'll ever happen to me but yeah uh I, probably, I don't, I statistically want to do that. statistically it's high yeah very high chance man. but they got fucking divorced what about what's something you most like about yourself and why? Oh man, <laughs> such shit question. No, this is a good one. What do you just and just like forget? There's a podcast. Let's just actually think. Like, what do you like about yourself? <laughs> Physically and then like internally, <laughs> or just like a skill you have, something that you're like really grateful that you have. Uh-huh. Man, hand-eye coordination is great. Having <laughs> that is like it's just Shut makes up. things funner in life. If you're shit at stuff, it, life is shit. Come on, man. If Surely you can there's... do shit, then it's funner. Surely there's something. I don't know. I'm very good at taking photos when I want to be. <laughs> That's why I did photography. Yeah, it's a good very good photos. skill. Of, <laughs> you are good I've at got. photos, Brown. You um, should never have given it up. No, I didn't give it up. I just didn't. I just didn't I don't pursue. Know. I didn't pursue. I didn't want to go into the, that. Yeah, so you gave so it up. doing it, just doing it for myself is a lot more enjoyable. So you love your photo takers? I just like taking photos. Yeah. I've always been like that. Top too. of the class. Always. If you ever meet any of my friends from school, ones that call me Brownie, anyway, um, yeah, they'd probably say, yeah, I always used to be taking photos. You were very artistic. No, I wasn't even artistic. I just, you know. You just knew. Knew. Keeping memories. Well, there you go. There's getting down with the brown. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. That's their fault. Hey, it creates conversation Bro. and then we, we learn things. You love taking photos. That's your favorite skill you have. We did come out with... You uh, had to click a button. I was emotional. We did come out with Marty. He used to get a, gun, a real gun and put oh, it man. at his yeah, I can't. I would be terrified. That's f- up. Yeah, that would freak me <laughs> out. Only, I, I had no supervision. Only I had zero fucking, supervision growing up. <laughs> only a fucking I'm not one around to tell me not to do that. Oh, I bet you Rob didn't do that. Cut well, his name. Robert already, Rob had already moved out. So yeah, I, when Rob moved out, I was just like, it was just me. So I was like, and here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's point guns at it, Henry. What, hang on. So what's what's the worst thing you did that your parents that your parents caught you like doing? What's the worst thing you ever did? I'm oh, they f- caught f- all. They they I literally just you got away with it all yeah. the time. Your oh your innocent mother, of course. Man, you I remember one it. time when I started, uh, I smoked cigarettes at a party. And then my girlfriend at the time, I messaged her telling how I was being cool. Like, yeah, I smoked on the weekend. 
And then since I didn't use my phone, it, I used my mom's because I was always out of credit. It went to her outbox and she could see the messages I'd sent yeah, to my girlfriend. How do you not think ahead? Yeah, that's dumb. And then she's like seeing me talking about smoking and it was like it destroyed her. And then like, oh, man, I felt guilty for weeks. I remember the first time I had cigarettes. My nan used to smoke and I would take some every now and then. And, yeah, I took one of her cigarettes. I, felt, I didn't feel too guilty. She was always – I, I never, think she was – The ashamed, smoking but, thing? But I felt, mum was like, oh, you didn't take any of – you know, you know, and cigarettes, did you? I was like, no, and I knew she knew. Oh, and then, oh, yeah, I never really got caught for anything, eh? unless the school rang and explained what I'd done. But other than that, <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh man, the school would have called your mum so many. Times. Yeah, well, yeah, they they really did, especially in primary school. Did it you get so annoying? Like- I'd come home from school, <laughs> and then four called. o'clock. No, the, the the phone would ring, and then and, and then mum would just turn and look at me, and then did I, you run? No, I just knew. I just knew that they're telling on me again. So annoying. Have the school telling you because they knew that when mum or dad found out that I would get punished, proper discipline. Yeah. So oh. they were just like, like giggle out of yeah, that to try and deter me from around at school. Yeah. Um, I remember in year five, all the things going around in class were like the questionnaires. So all the girlfriends from of the would send questionnaires to the boyfriends, and then you'd answer these questionnaires, and there was like hectic questions on there. Like, would you have dry with oh. your girlfriend would you get off your girlfriend this is year five so year you're like five you're Holy like shit. 10 11 years old and how did then, that who created that where did that come from the girls start doing Farnham. in our year yeah f- girls and always then, girls and then i answered one and of course what happens gets taken by the teacher reads it out the teacher i remember i stayed back after lunchtime and i was the last to walk through in the class and she's just staring at me and then like i had to go to the principal's office they're like what's going on here we'll be calling your mom and then I went home that day and I was just waiting for the phone to ring. And then I, I saw the call. I was like, oh, my God. My mum sits me down and she's like, so what's all this stuff in this questionnaire? Like, mm. what's this mean? And I just was like, I have no idea. I didn't know what I was answering. And it was just cringe shit that a year five-year-old kid shouldn't know about. And then, oh, also just be answering. Oh, it was – I still remember it and it was so f- awkward yeah I, I remember going from like being 11 and 12 and like everyone was go, like getting boyfriend girlfriends kissing was happening and like and all that sort of stuff and nothing else was really going on but and then as soon as i went to high school so 13 years old the the jump from like just kissing and being very innocent to you know and fearing all this shit oh, happening Jesus, man. just was intense so at 13 you were getting you were and getting off and trying <laughs> he just didn't have consent yet. <laughs> my my mate, my mate Ross. Sorry, Ross, if you ever this, Ross, okay. but my mate Ross had at such a he had like twelve or eleven or oh, something. That is, I think weird, it was twelve. Man. And his girlfriend lived on the street, like where Dude, we all sort of crazy. Hopefully and I was up. so shocked. Like, like I was like, holy shit! Or like, Are you sure he might have been lying. There was always that kids with no, you. Ever, before they were legit. in year six yeah my cousin told me that he f- go in like year six and i felt so sick by it because it was like we shouldn't be doing this at this age that i wanted to tell on him <laughs> <laughs> but i didn't but i just was like man you can't be doing that we're, we're, we're little kids here you know f- you shouldn't be getting up 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 yeah i just i i as soon as i turned 13 this everyone was just like oh d- dude i did it I'm like, you know, I did this, I did this. Really? Yeah, Man, just, that's so young. 13 is like, think about a 13-year-old. Well, we so had young. a mix of like people on, like living in our little street. So you'd have a couple of people a few years older than us. Like 29, yeah. 30, and then you'd have the 13 year old. <laughs> and you know when you were young, you're always like always trying to hang out with the, the cooler older people. Mm. Like so we had a dude who was like, we had two brothers who were 17 and 18 who lived on my street and they were always having people over. They were having drinks. I had my first drinks there because their dad would brew beer. So I'd go over there and you know drink, and he they'd be having chicks over and stuff, and they you'd be learn you'd be watching and learning things that are way ahead of you that you shouldn't be doing at that mm. age. But yeah, and it just I don't know. You just it was you watched. too. Yeah, I learned too much too You're fast. Just stalking in the shadows, <laughs> watching and learning. <laughs> it's, it's with one beer in his hand in the dark corner, <laughs> watching, Yuck, not stop making it. a sound. Stop it. Sipping now and then. Yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah. Everyone was just early bloomers. Let us there. know in the comments, guys. What age did you? F- <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. Hey, be respectful of the comments. Let's just put numbers in. Yeah, yeah. Just your yeah. age of when yeah. you first. 
I don't want people being descriptive because it'll just destroy the comment section. No, you well, well, yeah, you don't want it to be like ten year old. But I want numbers. <laughs> oh, yeah, what yeah. did you? What was the worst thing you did at primary school that you got, got parents got a phone call about? Besides smashing the window. Oh, man, we smashed a window once. That yeah, was rough. Um, fighting. Uh, the, oh yeah, nothing like wild. I was never like crazy, crazy. Mm. And, um, yeah, but the, the, I was in primary school, I was mates with an absolute nutcase and he'd always get into trouble for smoking and shit. I just never got the... What was his appeal. name? Darren. <laughs> That's wrong. Oh. That's where he came from. You channel him. <laughs> where is he now? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's like, man, you never meet a Darren that's like, a, a good guy. A good top <laughs> Yeah. Dude, the Darren in my school was a bit was a bit rough when yeah, I was in primary dude, school. They're just a little bit special. <laughs> he eh? was funny as f like he was a funny dude. And I think he's a lifeguard now. Yeah, like he's a good he was a good dude. It worked out for him. Yeah, he he was yeah, but he was the terror. <laughs> in Dazza. <laughs> mm. <laughs> of course your best mate in primary school was called Darren. Yeah. Well, how did it run a mark to Do you late. remember the first time you met him? He's like, oh, I'm down. No, I don't remember the first time. Oh, I remember in year God. three, though, we both got into trouble and the teacher sent us to like the, like, the a, to time out, which is like a different room and left us there on our own. And like, we just started destroying shit. And it was the first time I'd ever like just. <laughs> was just like we were just in tears and then we'd always up each other like break something do yeah, something yeah. and i ended up laughing so hard that i f pissed myself <laughs> like genuinely pissed myself which was which was hilarious like i i couldn't stop laughing so i pissed myself which made us laugh so much harder because i had a massive piss stain and i was like what am I going to do? So I just untucked my school shirt and luckily it was so long on me because I was like year three and it was, it was like a hand-me-down. Yeah. So it went over my piss patch <laughs> and I was just like, and, and fully got away with it. Fully had the, had pi a huge piss stain in my pants all day and no one else knew about it oh. because I just had my my shirt down until the piss dried. Your parents were that poor that they'd buy like the most, the biggest size they could because they knew you would grow, you grow into, into it and into never it. have to buy you again in yeah. another school uniform. Did um did Darren oh, know man. you pissed yourself? Yeah, yeah, he, he was he, giving it to No, him? he kept that one a secret formula. So that was good. It was only had to like keep it a secret. Oh, he was three or loyal four hours. to his mates. Darren, he's a loyal yeah. boy. <sighs> yeah. Holy shit. What was your first friend in primary school? Colin. Um it was Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> and now and then I see traces of Thomas in Marty. He becomes <laughs> Thomas now. And I'm like, holy shit, you're being Thomas. But um, yeah, Thomas in like early, early days, kindergarten. Should we call him? And then there was Edwin and then Sam. Man, there was another, a guy called Jesse. But yeah, I can't think of other ones. Man, there was, there was like kids that you were friends with but you didn't like. Oh. Josh, I remember that was one. And, uh, <laughs> and, um, Poor Josh. <laughs> really I had to go to his party after school and oh, his he's... parents were just that like straighty 180 that you're at this party and it's like, all right, time to sit down. It's like year four. Yeah. You sit down for a game and it's like past the parcel and you're in year four when that's just shit. Like that's like back to, you know, when you're in kindergarten. But we're doing all this boring shit and his parents were just, you can't swear, you can't do this. So I'm just like wishing I wasn't there but having to pretend that I'm having a good time because I was – trying to be nice to Josh, but it was hard to be nice to him because he was such a quit. You know, like they're just those people that just grind your gears. Anyway, that was Josh. Sorry, Josh. <laughs> oh, poor Josh. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Probably listening devastated now. Do you remember the first fight you saw at school? Was it brutal? No, first fight we were in primary school and they were never brutal. Oh, it was usually fuck. like a well, someone would land one good punch and then the other one would start crying. Up, yeah. Oh, the first one I saw was horrific. Dude got punched straight in the nose, clearly broken, just pissing blood. <laughs> and he's like, and the other guy's like, oh, he, he started it. <laughs> and just trying to trying to make him an excuse why he just leveled this kid. And he was just pouring blood out. And the moment the teachers came, they're like, what happened? And I was just like, I just didn't say anything. I was like, You didn't rat. I didn't rat. Yeah. I was like, because the other dude was like, like angry. I was very angry. I was very scared of him. Man, just, just like that redhead girl in primary oh, school. Um, 
Did you ever get physical with her? Not sexually, but like. <laughs> no. A, I don't know. No, did you lash out so. a brown hit? No, it was too, she she was dominating. I can picture him. her arms like, you know, that really red freckly arms, like really red freckly arms. I can picture that. And her face was like that too. It um yeah haunts my haunts my <laughs> memories. I can't. I wish. I wish. I really should find out her name. And how do you not remember? I remember I my remember. friends from primary school. Although there was only like ten kids in my class. That was year one and two. Was the redhead chick. After that, like, because kids just came came and gone all the time. So huh. I, you never knew. Like no one ever stuck around long. And then year three came, and then those people stayed all the way to like year seven. Yeah, okay. You know, I had t- I had two years in primary school where it was year four, five, six in one classroom. Yeah, we had that too. We had one and two, mm. and then it was two, three, four with two teachers. So yeah. three classrooms, two teachers. So yeah, shit. And you're I've at one end, and, and you're like, happy. oh, they're having a fun time down that side. And it was we're... always like four, five, or five, six. Yeah. Why do they do that? Was, well, there weren't many kids. Yeah. You know, there was only a hundred oh. kids in my whole primary school. Yeah, man. Primary school. They were the days, hey. School captain. Man, what was that happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Um, I was a sports captain. I mentioned that before. I remembered when I got sports captain, I had an embarrassing moment. They they bring you up on the stage, right? And uh, this girl named Rebecca, who was in my year, um, she was girl sports captain, right? And uh, so they called her up. She got given her little pin and said sports captain. And they called me up. And I'm like, oh, yeah, cool, thanks. And I like stood next to her and she was all excited and she's looking around, she's waving at people. And she had one of those hairs, like she, like it wasn't short hair, but it wasn't long. It was in like a Medium. bobby ponytail thing. And she swung her hair around and it smacked me straight in the eye. And I remember being, that, like, that was a real traumatizing Did you moment. lash out at her? No, I didn't. But I remember people at the front row going, ah, laughing. And I was like, oh my eye, this is my moment of glory of getting captain. And I'm getting laughed at. And I, I don't know. That was a tra- traumatic time. Do you have to do a speech? No. Oh, to get it, we had to mention something. What remember. did you say, word for word? I don't know. I think I said what I, all my little sporting achievements at the time. I used to run all the assemblies. Yeah. What did you say? I don't know. You just give a little script and just read. All right. Next up is blah 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 blah. Or we've got a special guest in today. Anyway, <laughs> when they <laughs> vote, so you got school captain. Did the kids vote or did the the, the kids both? voted? Kids voted, and of course, yeah, they popular. voted for me. So you're a popular boy. Oh yeah, I was. I peaked in primary school. Peaked. Oh, wow. Peaked mm. hard, and then yeah, real life came. I was like, oh, it's not Shit. like primary school. This is rough. And then after, and uh, then after you peaked again. Well, I don't know. I'm eating shit, drinking piss, and yeah, I don't Live know. You dream. can't really say I'm cool. I know, you're pretty cool. (laughs) (laughs) Says the guy dressed like that. Did you have a moment where you went from, was there a moment where you in school where you went from like, you know, happy, nice young man to dirtbag? Like, was there a moment? We went, oh, I think I remember the bin licking. That's that really. No, no, high school, you turned, you were just, you glorified being unhygienic. Yeah, was, true. I didn't like shower for like I think three what, weeks. What started that? What what? Where was that motivation? From? I don't know. I, I licked a bin and then I became the bin licker, which is like fuck. I sort of ruined it. And then I just became dirt. Like my new my nickname became dirt. Yeah, because we had um, some, a few Michaels in our group, so <laughs> yeah, Michael would be Michael. dirty Michael. <laughs> yeah, and then and then I remember there was a challenge. I think Greg, as a teacher, challenged me. You you know, can you not shower for you know, how many weeks can you go? I think I went like three weeks. And what was so awkward is at the tennis awards at the end of the year, in in, like integrated with the school, he he announced that in front of all of the tennis kids and their families. (laughs) All right, Michael's got this award. You know, he he actually hasn't showered for three weeks. I was was like, oh man. And my mum and dad are there. And they didn't know the level of, you know. They just thought you were a stinky boy. They didn't know the level of crust. Yeah. And then that was, I remember just going, fuck, that's awkward. But you just sort of bury that shit. Oh man, and you were were worse after high school that when you were coaching remember you you'd wear he'd wear socks for like a month oh, and they would literally dude. be hard i'd steer clear from crusty the parents, hard because i could smell it <laughs> so it'd rise up so whenever parents would chat to me i'd so, sort of just veer away and try and, and man i would have been the dirtiest coach like we oh. be like, oh let's go out tonight and i'd have all these clothes in the back of his car he'd start siphoning through this pile of clothes what? Oh, smelling them here and there and then he'd just pick out the one that smelled the least 
and then because I didn't be have a washing wearing. machine because I like obviously I had to fend for myself from eighteen onwards. Not you know my parents. When I first away, met but... you, you had a Hyundai XL. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. And then that was when I first met you. And yeah, you opened up the boot and it was just full of clothes. Yeah, look, it was my wardrobe, and that was you know. Luckily, Greg sort of took me in, and I had a little Talk. shack to live in. And you, yeah, let's, this is what happens if you coddle your kids too much. They get to eighteen. If they need to fend for themselves, they won't know what the. F- to do and that was michael <laughs> literally if he had to call a bank or something oh man can, can you call him like i don't know i literally had no idea how to live life at all in the slightest everything was like difficult he didn't know how to go grocery shopping like it's just unbelievable to witness yeah, yeah look it was it was a hard adjustment as i said i peaked in primary school and then it's been rough ever since well now it's beautiful being yeah married. as soon as i turned 18 like i had to move out because parents were divorced and had different lives going I wanted to move out, and um, yeah, it just sort of threw you into that deep end, and your it skills is good. kicked in. Yeah, if it is good to get your kids out quick, because then it does kick. It took me a few years. If you've done your job, they should want to move out by eighteen. If they're like stuck and want to leech on, it is gross. Oh, it is yeah. gross. I'll, kids, I'll only yeah. accept them living at home is if they're taking care of themselves. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't have to do anything for them, and they're contributing then, to the and household. they're contributing to the household. Paying then rent. they can stay. That's fine. They must yeah. pay rent. Yeah, a little bit of rent. That's fine. Yeah. Show them how the real world works. Mm. Profit off them. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. No, just to cover expenses. Man, we've fully went. We're, we're like little dream like down memory lane, primary school, high school. Yeah. Battles. This, this reminds me of a Christmas special, except not high. <gasps> Yeah, yeah, sorry everyone. We just went on a bit of a. It's a weird episode chat. this week. It's just it's a full on week this week, man. It's f- insane. So we've yeah, got a bunch of shit to film and edit. And prepare for the live show and is Mon's but it's just like everything's all crushing. Mm. It's all at once. But yeah, look, that's um What does everyone want to see next season? That's gonna be a nice thing to comment. What do you guys what do you guys yeah, enjoy? What do you, yeah, what do you guys think we should continue? What should we fuck off? Yeah, what should we get rid of? Well, what should yeah, we, we bring back? We ditched the great debate halfway through, so we need some form of comp, I reckon, and we also, well, this is a given, we're definitely starting Mindy's Tinder account, and <laughs> yeah. then that's when we'll like Yeah, harness, so the we'll female Tinder men. account's definitely going to happen. Um, a lot of people call for Matt versus Michael again. I don't mind. We'll see how it goes. They get a bit scared. Remember the start of that? I made you guys do heaps of gay shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like sexual positions and yeah. kissing. That's One was kissing right. you. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, look, and yeah, make sure like maybe continue to send your prank calls and your stories in. If they're good enough, we try them to o four six 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 zero two three zero three, and we need more because we're we're. I'll out. announce this, and I don't know if anyone cares, but um, a lot of people call for Black Book, right? Or you know or those stories. Um, we we're, we're definitely going to do a. We're looking at doing an episode, one episode a month for the website of a podcast. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, for the website next year, we'll be doing an uncut podcast with really f***ed up oh, segments. Yeah. So, so there's some head- yeah, so we're oh. looking at doing a, a website version um, podcast. Just one, one a month. Yeah. Just to add some more value to the website. But, you know, this podcast will be as regular. You won't be, so if you're, you're not signed up to the website, don't worry, you won't be missing out on like... It's just going to be just shit that we wouldn't be able to put on YouTube or Spotify. And yeah, well, the segments are pretty f***ed up. Yeah. Like, we well, don't even want to, yeah. We look. can't really talk about some of them. But, um, yeah, so we'll, this will still be our number one priority is, is, is this podcast. So let us yeah. know if you have any f- suggestions. Feedback. And, um, yeah, well, I'd, I'd love to bring back the Dream Diary or something, but, like, I need to. We need to work it out so that I can do these things during work. Because if I don't have the time, it's just so hard. If I have a busy weekend, like working outside of work, it's just it's too. It's not sustainable. It's like I'm. Yeah. It was too much. Like even Tinder to bed to like some time. of those. Some sometimes I take like three hours to write, and so I'd be up to like one a.m. on a Sunday, and then the whole week's. F-ed. And the, yeah. even the Tinder Avengers have to do it outside of work. It's like. Yeah, sometimes if I'm super busy, I just don't have time. So look, if you got some ideas, send them our way. Should we call Domino's? All right. Hey. Calling Domino's. A team member will be with you shortly. Sorry, sir, for the whole kid. Put your mouth on my Sorry. Um, 
I was wondering if I could please place an you order for pickup. Bitch. Yep. Bitch piece of the what are you looking at? Um, oh, just to get like a bundle deal. Slut. Is there like three pizzas and a garlic get bread, out. or like get out, two cat. pizzas and a or garlic grab bread? Grab your fat and rip it off, pig. Suck me. For pickup, like uh, we have the. Oh, bite your uh, bottom lip off. Me while I'm looking dollars. at you. Yeah, the twenty nine. Does that come with three pizzas? Burn, burn me. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go with that one. Thank you. Suffocate my tits! You suffocated my tits! Yeah, that's great. And I will I'll be go, back! Is it like value pizzas or can you get like expensive ones? I just took a shit in the bathroom, man! I just took a shit in the bathroom, you dumb... I'll go with a godfather. Slip in my shit! Slip right. around in my shit or I'll kill myself! Father. Slip around in my shit or I'll kill myself! Father. Rip your ass apart! Father. 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 And then I'll Stab also the go... Maybe her Throw wine. it at me! Throw yourself at me! Ah! Yeah, just a Hawaiian yeah, for a second. Load my gun! And then... Load my with, gun and bring it out. I'm f***ing sick of this. With the garlic bread, is it possible to get, like, a cheesy one? Uh, Smash no. your <laughs> against my back! Oh, okay. Do it now, right. bitch! This gun is loaded! Oh, yeah. yeah. And I'll, the name for that? Rip um, my oh, eyes out! With the drink, Put what drinks is it? Put in my socket! Um, you can get, um, any drink. I'll burn this... House down, man. Is that um, what you want, huh? Well, maybe oh, like a Coca-Cola. How dare you look at me? Oh, okay. Is it like Pepsi Max? Your lips are on my... Your lips are on my... Yeah, I'll go with a Pepsi. Uh, actually, I'll go the original Pepsi. Thank I'll give you. you a pap smear. I'll give you a pap smear with a... And a name for that? Um, Could I put it under... Rise! Rise up and kill it! Um, also, could I, is there chicken, like some chicken I can get from your establishment? Like, do you guys do chicken? Like chicken wings? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, is it like chicken bites? I will rain down hammer fists on your toddler's chicken back wings. if you don't leave. Um, yeah, well, look, I might go with the, the, um, the chicken bites. And you what sort of, jail, what man. pack do they you come in? Jail. I can't keep, I can't uh, keep this a secret. There's a dead body! There's a dead body outside, man! Yeah, I'll go with the, the, yeah, the 50, I think. Oh, uh, yep. I've just torn my skin open! I've tied um, blood like I've got a zipper! How long ah. would, would that take to get? Uh, 10 minutes. You had sex with my oh, mother! I'm so sorry. I think I'm going to have sex with my mother. Have to cancel it. Give me a pizza! My friend's a bit irate. I'm going to have to take him to hospital, I think. Snap my d*** off! Snap it off! <laughs> But she was not phased. <sighs> it's exhausting, eh? <laughs> Dude, rain hammer fist down on your toddler's back. Where do you come up with that? Oh, I don't man, know. she was, yeah, poor girl. You could tell she was like, okay, something's weird here. And she kept going. Yeah. That's what I love. See, look, I didn't it. want him to make it, and then we don't show up. So yeah. that's why I cancelled. Yeah. You have to cancel well. it. Being it's, polite. We're doing it for the greater good. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we'll see you guys next week what's with for the live show all right remember if you want to watch the uncensored live show we have a pay-per-view link in the description and um and we're but we're gonna leave in as much as we can okay we're gonna leave in as much as we can yeah. people who are watching this have already seen the live show what people who yeah. came to the live show why don't you comment and let the people know what some was, of the stuff that happened, happened. or, or if you watched like, it online if you watched it online comment one third of it will be have to cut like from the actual podcast we post. Yeah, so you'll see you why. If you see the real f***ed up shit, then yeah. You'll see why, what we mean when you, you find out what we, what we are doing. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And leave a five star review on Spotify because we are the best. We're the best. <laughs> we're the best. We're the best. We're the absolute best, 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 best champions. What's best in German? I do for a cut